The type of projects we are working on in Silicon Valley are pretty much everything that you will see in the car soon. Autonomous driving, uh, machine learning is interesting. My team works on the advanced graphics, uh, so this is basically for uh, the next generation of our user interfaces within the vehicle. So we have been using Qt for a while. Uh, it's uh, an interesting technology to us. We started uh, with the concept uh, S-Class Coupe four years ago. Uh, we asked ourselves the question, can we put Qt in a car? Um, it's not only the technology that matters, right? it's also the internal processes that you need to look at. It is and uh, that is very important to us in Sunnyvale. Um, we have engineers and designers working very closely together. We want something that the customer later uh, really enjoys using and building this up together with these teams as one. That's, uh, that's amazing. Uh, Qt helps us actually on, on all of these fields because you can uh, achieve very high performance, high frame rate, which is important for a good user experience and uh, very nice graphics at the same time. So we like to work with the latest version of Qt. Uh, as an advanced team, uh, we always are up to trying out new things. Um, the community here with Qt is amazing. Uh, so the development speed of Qt itself uh, is, is really uh, uh, fun uh, to look at. And uh, we try uh, to use the latest features that we have there. What I like about Qt is uh, the combination with QML because you can actually build very solid components, yet you are able to iterate with them fast, and that is important uh, when you develop user interfaces, because you think you got it right, but then a user study turns out people expected it somewhat differently. This is very easy and fast to iterate over with QML, yet you have really solid components backing you uh, on the C++ side.